Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you today about the TRIA laser and my experience with the TRIA laser. Um, I started using that back in 2013. I think it was maybe a year on the market or maybe six months, maybe it was the late part of 2013. And um, I, I found it to be great. Um, it was one of those things where you're supposed to use it for either three months, uh, five days a week, and two nights off uh, a week, or two months using it, um, I think it was every day, yeah. And um, I did the, the three months for five days a week in the beginning, and um, I noticed great improvements. Um, in the texture and tone of my skin, um, people complimented me on it, and um, yeah, I I, I thought, thought it was a great investment. However, you know, I paid 500 uh, euros for it. At that time, there weren't any deals because it was so new, and and you know, it pretty much sold itself. Um, now I think you can get that for as low as 150 new. However, I've had it all these years, and when you think about 2021 now, and that was 2013, and the machine still works, you know, I do take breaks, I have taken breaks, I think I haven't used it for maybe four months right now, but I might start using it again. Preferably, you're supposed to use it in the winter, because it is a laser, and it's better when you use lasers in the winter, because of the sun, but I, I go on my own schedule, so just use sunscreen and no big deal um, yeah you 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 do want to use a nice moisturizer I don't use the the moisturizing products that they sell with the product because it's additional cost and I I had my own favorite stuff so I used arrogant oil um, basically what you do is you you uh, clean your skin at night and uh, pat it dry so you do not put anything after the cleansing you rinse and then you pat the skin dry then you use whatever level there's uh, I believe three levels on the machine and you just keep going as, uh, towards your tolerance you start out in the beginning with level one if that was fine you didn't feel any extreme in, uh, irritation then you can go to level two if you're fine with that then you can go to level three so it's totally up to you and um, yeah, um, like I said, I used arrogant oil then after that. Sometimes I even used the TRIA laser two times a day. I'd use it in the morning and the evening because I just felt, oh, may it would help my skin. Did it help my skin more? Yes, it did. But there are certain areas um, where I felt like, hmm, I don't know if I'd do that again. In the eye area, I felt like, the heat from the laser wasn't beneficial. I'll just put it like that. Um, so in the eye area, I mean under the eye is fine, but over the upper eye area, I, I just, I don't know, I didn't feel it was really, um, it did what I wanted it to do. So um, I would I would definitely recommend following the, the instructions. However, I used it sometimes two times a day and I didn't use it every single day two times a day I used it maybe three days a week two times a day and the other days once a day um, so I mean you just have to kind of go to see how you feel first you need to know your skin and go and go with that um, that's what I would recommend um, as far as I mean I did have one issue with the the charger and it was really maybe after two years of using the machine, the charger didn't work anymore. And so I ordered a new charger. I paid 20 euros for that, for that whole new charger process thing. And since then, my machine still works, um, which I find to be amazing as much as I've used it because it's really only made to be used once a day. Naturally, theoretically, if I had family with me or friends, I could share the machine, but I never did. So I just, I used it twice a day and it still works after all this time. Um, I did a threads video recently and 
I don't think they're so great together. So that's another reason why I don't always use the machine, especially right now, because I started using threads, PDO threads and uh, the, the like. And so I wouldn't probably recommend to do them together or any, any, I would say do your thread treatments and when you're taking a break from the threads, do the, do the, the laser. But I wouldn't necessarily do them in the same area at the same time because heat is a contraindication to skin when it comes to breaking down those threads quicker. You don't want that. Um, and so I'm going to do um, a before and afters video, but not just yet. Um, so look, look for that. Um, and I do feel that, uh, so there are other machines out there. Uh, I think it was the Nira laser, but I didn't buy that. I wanted to make this point because the Nira laser is a very has a very small head, and the tree has a very large, large um, head as far as coverage. So if you want to cover your pretty much your whole face with the tree, you can. With the Nira, I mean, it's a, it's a very small little. I don't want to say pinpoint, but it's a small surface. So I I would think you have to do a lot of pressing and it just seems fiddly too fiddly for me and with the tria it's just it, it goes pretty quick you're just zooming and doing that whole laser thing and so I find that to be much you know much more a benefit in 10 minutes you're done and do you have to do it every day the same thing when you're starting the, the system because you're gonna do that system as much as you feel you need the treatment um, so I would say you're going to do the 10 minutes that's the level 3 the, the, the highest level and you're going to do that at least once a day however if you do feel extra irritation or you feel redness it's too red for you um, you don't have to do it every day but you're going to get the best benefits so I would say hold out and do the laser according to the directions as much as possible and uh, so I just wanted to say all that and I'm definitely going to be coming up with um, some more videos as far as DIY so wish you got wishing you guys a great day bye